In this video, I want to give you scrapbook ideas for your baby boy with not so common techniques. We add tags and we even use a stencil to get some acrylic color into your mini album. If we just met, my name is Monia and I'm owner of Digital Design Resort and I'm doing this now for 12 long years years. Scrapbooking has been for me an amazing journey because I met people from all over the world. And it's not just about memory preserving, but also about that community. And that is why I'm showing you different kind of layouts and helping you to preserve your beautiful memories. For this scrapbooking layout and the entire mini book collection, I'm using the It's a Boy's World scrapbooking kit but don't worry, you don't have to resize all the elements and papers. You will find a link below this video and I have already done all that for you so you can start right away. So before we get started, please subscribe to our channel, click the little bell so you are notified whenever I post a new video and hit the like button. And now let's get started with the scrapbooking. Next page. So yesterday we created this page here with the stamp and the vellum and uh, you can pull it on and um, you see the pictures under it. And here are some stories missing which I'm going to write later. But today I want to decorate this page. So what do I want to do? So I want to use a stripe from this paper and put it here. And then I have created some tags. I create those tags with my silhouette, which is pretty easy. You can just uh, create it in your silhouette program and then you use whatever paper you like and you just cut it. So it's also less expensive than uh, buying these tags separately. So, And you can create them out of your paper. So this is really neat and um, that's why I'm going to do that. So we start with this paper. And I want to have this here on that side. So I'm going to, where is it here? So what I want is this edge here. I want that you can see what I've done. So now I'm going to glue it here on top and then we start decorating. When you glue it with adhesive, make sure you go really here on the edge so it sticks to your paper. If not, you can always go ahead and use a little bit of glue and put it under it. Okay, so now I cut that off. It's a bit tricky. So make sure you don't cut into your book page. Okay, so that's it looks better already doesn't it so now I have my crocodile and um, if you ever ask yourself how to use it it's you know <laughs> it's actually pretty easy but you need to know it so you press it together just press on it and then you open it and now I can use these tags I don't know how many I'm going to use but I want to add a, a hole into it so I'm going to put that here Yeah, let me better use centimeters, but you have the option. You can use centimeter and inch. Okay, you see, I put them all together, so I have the hole at one place. <laughs> so just just a little bit, li just a little trick. So now I'm using two of them, and I want to have them something like that and you know I have also these little things so I can put them into it and that is what I'm going to do now yeah that's it so now I have a nice tag and I'm going to create a second one 
and you see how it looks looks pretty good so now I have two tags and now I need a hole in my book here somewhere <laughs> so um, because I want to use this thread and pull it over it here so now we need to find the middle I just figured that I most probably like it more to have them here because I want to have some pictures here on my tags and I'm not sure what I put here right now so maybe I add something else there and we see so I guess I'm going to just make a hole here uh, in the yeah somewhere N not in the middle somewhere Be careful you always have your hole here what you can do now is you add something like that here so you don't see it anymore like that um, yeah that's that's nice actually if you want to so uh, a little bit tricky because it's a thick paper I'm, I'm going to do that later um, but I want to put a thread over it so maybe I'll leave it like that we see um, here is my thread and that's what I pull through here and here and then we have the text here on the page but for now I'm going to add some pictures on it and uh, for those I have already pulled out four of these small little pictures and I'm going to put them here on top of my uh, tag and um, I want to decorate the tag itself as well and for that I'm going to use a little bit of paper once again I'm printing the images of this size with my printer I'm going to link under this video it's really nice it has a program and it asks me what size I want my pictures to be and then I can just add them in that size okay tag number one so now we need to decorate number two and also the rest of the paper okay I got me a stencil actually two one for the tag and one for the book and what we are doing now is we put that here and use a little bit of acrylic color I'm using the Atessa color but you know whatever you have and um, then I have a brush and just uh, go over it here so be careful because it can always uh, flip slip away and uh, maybe you want to use um, you know some some washi tape to make it yeah to glue it here on your paper uh, or you trust yourself and just go over it it gives the whole thing a little bit of structure which is pretty nice but uh, you know you can of course always use something else you can also use other colors if you're not that um, courageous than I am right now <laughs> so I have a really strong color now but I thought it might look nice especially when the rest of it is covered with the text
Okay, once you're done, pull it up and you see it doesn't look that strong because I have um, I have all these white space behind in between. Um, yeah, and now we need to go on. Okay, so far. Uh, be careful because it's wet, of course. You need to let it dry. It takes a while, but not too long because acrylic color uh, dries really quick. So maybe give it 20 minutes or half an hour to have it really dry. And now I have a second stencil for my tack. and I'm going to add the stars on top and you know what I do now is um, I use a white color because I have now a really strong one so now I'm going to use a white one you just need to make sure it's really uh, it's really tidy here your brush is really clean and then you can go on of course If you have never worked with acrylic color, you might want to use just a piece of paper and try it out first. It's not hard to use, not nothing like oil or something, but you need to get a feel for the color itself. As usually, it just for any felt tip you need that and you also do for acrylic painting. Okay, looks good so far. So again, it has to dry and then we can go on. Okay, that's how it looks now. I know the color looks a little strong right now, but that is what I wanted actually, because it is covered later with all the tags. And also I have a nice cluster which will go here. So for now, I think this looks pretty good. And now we are going to add the tag here on the bottom and the other one on top of that. And as I said, then comes the cluster. Here you go. Or maybe we put that on top. We see. Yeah, well, I'm going to start for now with a cluster and then we see what, what else we can add here.
okay so far that's it and now what I want is I want to put here eat sleep and play or eat play and sleep that's what this boy is doing all the time so it doesn't glue well at the moment pressing it a bit Okay, that's it. I think I'm going to leave it like that. I've, although I just thought of adding something here on top right, maybe just as a balance to the bottom left, but we see uh, how that turns out. I'm, I just have to think about it for a few minutes. You see, it didn't take me long to add another cluster on top right, just a small one, but that's really it for now. So if you enjoyed the video, please look below for more videos like this and also here now in the info cards. So talk to you soon. Bye.